Hi everyone, it's JC from Baytech Plastics and today we have a short video explaining the injection molding process. Enjoy! The life of a pellet. For a custom injection molder, such as Baytech Plastics, raw material is received in the form of plastic pellets. Pellets may be natural material or compounded with colors and or fillers such as talc or minerals or reinforcements such as glass fiber. The pellets are packaged in either bags, boxes, or bulk. Bulk materials are delivered in hopper trucks and are stored in silos until needed for production. Some materials require pre-drying to reduce moisture levels acceptable for processing. This is accomplished in specialized equipment made for the purpose of drying plastics. Pellets are typically delivered to the injection machine by way of vacuum loading lines directly from bulk storage silos or dryers. Vacuum loading is also used to draw pellets from large boxes. For small parts, bagged material may be hand loaded directly into the hopper of a machine. An injection molding machine melts the plastic by applying heat to the pellets through a combination of electrical resistance heater bands surrounding the barrel and through friction generated by forcing the pellets into narrowing openings between a hydraulically turned screw system. Molten plastic is injected into a relatively cool mold which defines the final shape of the plastic part. The plastic quickly cools in the mold. When the part is set, the mold is opened and a part is ejected. Typically, robots or machine operators remove the parts from an injection machine. Automatic machines run without intervention by people and can produce parts with very little attention. Some parts are finished as molded, but others require additional operations to be complete. Some may be further processed by way of overmolding which involves placing the molded part into a different mold and injecting a secondary material, such as to form a gasket around a part perimeter, for example. Others may be painted or pad printed or ultrasonically welded together or mechanically assembled with other molded parts or components to make a finished part. Parts are inspected for quality prior to packaging Finished goods are packaged and arranged on pallets for shipping.